Greetings film fanatics, Film Holmes here, and welcome to another rendition of Too Many Movies. Now last night, it was one of those nights where you're home and you have no plans, nothing to do, uh, especially if you're a loser like me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> but I was home alone and I really wanted to watch a movie and nothing sounded good. I have plenty I haven't seen. And of all things, a movie I've seen several times really got me excited to watch it. And that movie is The Mask of Zorro. Now the reason why this movie jumped out at me for my collection was because, you know, it's almost June. And that means we're going to get a shitload of summer blockbusters coming out soon. And we've already had a couple blockbusters. But summer is, of course, the time of the year where we have some good blockbusters, some bad blockbusters, or... A lot of bad blockbusters. But the but the Mask of Zorro, when it came out, I think it surprised a shit ton of people by just how well together, well put together it was. Uh, the script was solid. It was it was very charming and it was very funny, uh, but all in the right places. And the drama in it, it made you feel invested in, in the characters. Anthony Hopkins as Zorro was a wonderful fit. Uh, Antonio Banderas, it's really what made him a huge star in the United States of America. Catherine Zeta-Jones, the beautiful Catherine Zeta-Jones, who of all people married Michael Douglas, which you know what, who the hell wouldn't marry Michael Douglas? I would fuck him into... I'm sorry, I keep saying a lot of stupid things. Uh, <laughs> but she was wonderful in it, and beautiful, and, and elegant. And the love between her and Antonio Banderas, I very much believed. The villain was a great villain. Uh, maybe he was cliched, but I liked him. Uh, the, the, the army captain, the white dude in the movie, he was a great villain. It was a well-told story, very well-paced for an almost two and a half hour movie. And it was exciting and it had, I love sword fighting and we never see that anymore. We see lightsabers, but we don't see swords and click, clack, click, clack. We don't see that. And it was very true to the old Zorro movies. I've never seen them, but I've seen clips. And Anthony Hopkins looked like the Zorro of old. Antonio Banderas looked like the Zorro of old. It was a swashbuckling, without the pirates, adventure that all of a sudden I wanted to watch again. And I'm glad I did, because it reminded me how damn good the movie is. It is so good. It is... It pumped me up. Like, it, it made me remember uh, these movies that aren't superhero movies, that were huge blockbusters, still hold up to this day. And if you haven't seen it, please see it. It is a remarkable movie. It really is almost a mystery <laughs> to me how they made Zorro badass and cool, because he never was to me and probably isn't to a lot of people. But... It was just such a well-told story with such engaging characters and a good plot. And you wanted to see these characters get redemption. You wanted to see the bad guys get theirs. You wanted to see the love story unfold. You wanted to see the great... The direction is beautiful. It shows Spain and all these other places. When it needs to get dark and gritty like in a prison, it's really dark and gritty. When they need to show these extravagant cities, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. Uh, the cinematography is wonderful. Uh, just, it's like the gods looked down on the making of this movie and said, yeah, we'd like a good Zorro movie. Fuck it. Make this one good. And it was great. And I enjoyed watching it again. I wasn't going to do a video about it, but I, I started to realize that whenever I watch a movie for my collection, or just watch a new movie, or watch a movie... <laughs> I need to put it out there. That's the whole point of this show. So I wanted to talk about it. I want to talk to all of you about it. And it's nice to have a, vid a video on uh, from Too Many Movies that's only about one movie. <laughs> I've gone a little crazy recently doing ones about a shit ton of movies. But The Mask of Zorro... 
I could watch it again. It's that good. Like I could go out in my living room and I could watch it again, be just as entertained, just be just as compelled and enjoy it. I love good sword fighting. It's it's so rare in Hollywood nowadays. And that's the thing. Mask of Zorro stands out. It's its own adventure genre. It, I don't know how else to describe it. Like it it stands out from the other adventure movies from the past. Uh, and I can't think of any other movie that's come close. Maybe the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, which I've never seen. <gasps> Gasp! But I've never seen a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. If you want me to watch them, comment. I'll watch them. But until then, I don't... And I don't know if they did it as well as Mask as Zorro. Maybe the first one did. I know the sequels didn't. It's just such a different movie. And it, it came at a time where we needed a different summer blockbuster than the ones we've been getting about aliens or anything like that. Which is great. But I want one that's more realistic and dirty and... Ugh, it was, it was great. It makes me laugh. It makes me tear up. It, it it makes you think a little bit too, but it makes you excited. It's got everything. It's got the adventure for the guys, and it's got the love story for the ladies. Which I know, just because you're a woman, you don't have to go to the theater for a freaking love story. I know that. I'm just saying sometimes women get more wrapped up in that than the guys do. But the whole movie wraps me up. It, it just, it wraps me up in this nice warm blanket and takes me on this extravagant adventure that makes me feel just all warm and toasty, you know? And, God, I'd like, I'm on a high watching it. Like, I hope there's at least one summer blockbuster this year that's, that's like Mask of Zorro. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. Watch it now. It's not expensive to get, but it is a remarkable movie. I still can't believe it was made. But I'm so glad it was. But uh, Mask of Zorro, four and a half out of five is my rating. It, I think it's that good. And, it, and the reason why I'm doing this video is because I don't think enough people remember it. I don't think enough people give it its its due for being as good as it was or good as it is. It's my favorite Antonio Banderas movie, unless Shrek 2. Uh, it catapulted his career in the U.S., catapulted Catherine Zeta-Jones' career... And another great movie for Anthony Hopkins. And a different kind of movie for Anthony Hopkins. Most people know him as, you know, as Hannibal Lexter in, in Silence of the Lambs and its sequels. But he's done a lot of other great... He's got a great body of work. And when I first thought Anthony Hopkins <laughs> as Zorro, what? Like, is he supposed to be white? I don't know. Like, I still don't get that part. But you know what? He's charming. And that's the thing, this movie is just so fucking charming. It oozes with charm. The charm oozes out of your, out of the, I, I'm sure, I didn't see it in theaters, but out of the cinema, the theater screen, and also from your television screens. It oozes out and just makes you feel so good that you watched it. And it just, it charms you. Like, like if you were on a date with some guy that just, if, if Mask of Zorro took me on a date, my panties would have hit the floor within 10 minutes. Maybe five. It's that damn charming, guys, is what I'm trying to say while I keep going on about it. But, oh man, it is... It, it reminded me why I like movies so much. Is Mask of Zorro one of the greatest movies ever made? No. Is it like a citizen... Is it the Citizen Kane of the adventure movies? No, it's not. But it's a movie that needs to be remembered more and watched more. It was a huge hit when it came out, but I think... It's been like 20 years. People need to find it again. And I'm so happy I did find it again. And I'm, I'm very happy it's in my collection. I don't remember why I bought it. Uh, it did... It came... It was a Blu-ray double feature. It came with The Legend of Zorro as well. That one will be a review for another time. Because as we all know, the sequel was... But regardless, we still have Mask of Zorro, which from beginning to end is a thrilling ride of charm, adventure, swashbuckling action with romance, great characters, great villains, great dialogue, great direction. It's just a great, fun movie. So watch it if you haven't. Thank you for joining me on another edition of Too Many Movies with Film Holmes. I'm Film Holmes, and... I've got more movies to watch, so until next time, take care.